Haptera seems to be getting closer to having their PI builds and begin their tests, and we see that more and more people are getting information about Aptera and putting it out there for other people to hear about it. We've had an increasing number of news coverage about Aptera, and this is getting the word out that Aptera is the future of green mobility. And then there's the most recent visit by Congressman Mike Levin to the Carlsbad plan, and we learned that he actually got an Aptera and got to test drive it this week. There's no doubt in my mind that he had a good time there. This has got me thinking. How will this visit help out with the tax incentive? And is this some form of government recognition and endorsement of the Aptera? That's what's in store for today's video, so don't go anywhere. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. So is Aptera getting government recognition and favor? Well, that's one way to interpret the most recent visit by Congressman Mike Levy to Carlsbad, California. We saw this on Aptera's official X page where the automaker posted, We were thrilled to host Representative Mike Levin at Aptera HQ. Our team had the honor of showcasing our solar EVs and discussing the future of sustainable transportation. Congressman Levin even took a test ride in one of our vehicles, experiencing the power of the sun firsthand. So talks were had and it begs the imagination on what they discussed about. For one, there is the issue of the tax incentive Aptera applied for. So we know that Aptera had applied for a federal loan of over $100 million that would cover their needs to start production, but no news has been released on progress regarding this loan. They had received a $22 million grant from the California Energy Commission earlier last year. More recently, Aptera Motors proudly announced the successful completion of its accelerator program on January 31st, raising over $33 million to fund the initial phases of production for the first-of-its-kind solar electric vehicle. As such, this visit could precipitate the funds needed to scale production. A high government official as such could also signal the arrival of a big pockets investor for Aptera. Looking back at the introduction of Sandy Munro to the SEV team, his introduction began with a visit and later stepped to his unveiling of the Gamma. In any case, what we can be sure of is, Aptera is getting into the eyes and ears of more persons and they're garnering more support as we gear closer to production. Now moving forward to some similar news. Aptera has been getting more and more news coverage from the start of this year, and that's helping to raise awareness and support for this SEV that may very well be the future of green mobility. This is a quick except of the news report on Aptera from Fox News. Check it out. This solar-powered electric vehicle never needs to be plugged in for charging. I'm Chris the CyberGuy. Follow me at CyberGuy.com and sign up for my free newsletter there. They've been at it since 2007, when the idea for creating an electric car that never needs a charging station first came about. The company made deals with a Slovenian in-wheel electric motor company, Eve Energy for the batteries, and Maxian Solar Technology for the photovoltaic cells. In January of last year, Aptera revealed its launch edition featuring an ultralight composite body with 700 watts of solar cells and a drag coefficient of just 0.13. Check this out. In each wheel, there's a motor that can go from 0 to 60 in 4 seconds flat with a top speed of 101 miles per hour. Now, so long as the sun is shining, it'll all... The Aptera has been getting a lot of good press lately, actually. Surprisingly, from Fox News, this was a really well-done report. Their articles are really quite good. They've been helping to raise awareness. Just listen to this one report from two weeks ago. It reads, What if you could drive a car that doesn't require gas and never runs out of battery? That's the promise of Aptera, a company that is revolutionizing the electric vehicle EV industry. Aptera has created an EV that harnesses the power of the sun to charge itself, eliminating the need for plugging in and charging stations. This is not just a concept, but a reality. Meet the Aptera, the world's first solar-powered EV. Now that's one very interesting intro on Aptera. I don't know about you, but I would want to continue reading if I came across such an article as one who had never heard of Aptera. But let's look some more into this. They went on to go over the history of Aptera and the vision Steve and Chris have. Overall, I like how they present the history without all the negativity you generally find online. They're not re-echoing the initial bankruptcy from a decade ago, and I think that shows that the authors of these articles might really believe like we do, that Aptera is the future of green mobility. The article also goes into some detail about the major partnerships that have revolutionized the idea and helped bring it to fruition. So it reads, 
To turn this vision into reality, the company joined forces and forged strategic partnerships with three industry leaders to make the solar-powered EV a reality. 1. EVE Energy for Batteries Aptera's heart lies in its batteries. The company collaborated with EVE Energy to develop high-capacity, long-lasting battery packs. These batteries store energy from the sun and power the vehicle seamlessly. 2. Maxon Solar Technology The roof of the Aptera is a canvas of innovation. Maxon's photovoltaic cells cover the surface, harnessing sunlight and converting it into electricity. With 700 watts of solar cells, the Aptera constantly replenishes its energy reserves. And 3. Slovenian in-wheel electric motors from Elefi. Aptera's wheels house cutting-edge electric motors, allowing each wheel to function independently. These motors deliver impressive acceleration, reaching 100 miles per hour in just 4 seconds, a feat that rivals sports cars. These reports, I think, did a very good job of summarizing it. There are no glaring inaccuracies in their review, but I would say the report should have covered the contributions made by CPC groups so far. Aptera signed the agreement with CPC groups in November last year for the supply of materials and structures for Aptera's bank. Now we've come to see the bank in animations and in real life from Italy, and such an invaluable partnership should have been mentioned in the Fox reports. Also, there was the announcement of the new partnership with Korean battery manufacturer CTNS. As part of two agreements, CTNS will build Aptera's battery production lines and supply battery packs for its solar EVs as a Tier 1 supplier, and the entire contract value exceeds $15 million. I think this announcement should have also featured on the Fox articles. And while we're on this subject of battery manufacturers, you remember when Aptera named EV Energy as their battery supplier for their battery cells. And so, with this more recent announcement, what has become of EV Energy? Is it a change of supplier or an addition to the board? And if this means a new battery tech, what type of batteries will be used by Aptera exactly? I intend to cover this in another video, but let's get your own take on this. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Now in another article released like a week ago by Fox News, it begins with the intro. Solar-powered cars could be on American roads in the near future, as a California company says it will start production on the first ones late this year. Of course, we await the update on the progress of production so far from Aptera. I believe Aptera will release its February update within the next week or two, and perhaps we will receive an update on where they stand with the PI builds and such. We are all waiting for that. I believe we may expect that to happen in April or March. There was a glimmer of optimism that it would happen before the end of the year in December, and then we considered the start of the year in January. However, as January approached, it became evident that it would not happen anytime soon. During the EVA meeting, it appeared that they were implying that it might be March or April. Hopefully, we'll get an update in February on where they stand with that. But while we wait, we should be grateful for such news coverage that I believe isn't paid commercials. But, generally speaking, news coverage like this helps in creating a buzz around Aptera. In this astronomical environment, the need for authentic and reputable news sources is vital. Consumers instinctively look for reviews and news to reinforce their potential support and opinions regarding a new company. One advantage of news coverage is that it fosters a sense of trust and credibility. When a company is featured in the news, such as in an article or a piece on a company that has been published in a major newspaper, that company immediately becomes more credible in the eyes of both consumers and investors. Furthermore, if a new company or a startup is featured, especially in the case of positive news, this will help to generate trust between the company, potential buyers or investors and the industry as a whole. A second benefit is that a company's visibility will be increased by significant measure. When a company is featured in the news, it will take its place either physically or digitally in the public eye. Especially with constant technological advances and via the rise of social media news and marketing, a company will likely see a notable surge in inquiries, customer traffic and sales. In particular, especially in the case of new technology or a new development, establishing that first customer interaction or making a company known in the public sphere is vital and news coverage can achieve this goal for electric vehicle startups, for instance. The possibilities with news coverage are truly varied. And that concludes today's video. Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the